How's it going guys? My name is Dom and today I want to talk about the node.insertBefore method in the JavaScript document object model. So insert before allows you to insert a new node into an existing parent node before one of its child nodes. So basically with elements you can insert a new element inside a parent element before a particular element in that child list, if that makes sense. So I'm going to show you an example using an unordered list. So let's make a new list um, here, a unordered list, give an ID of something like my list. Now we'll add a few list items here. Let's add some fruits in. So we'll say list item, we'll say apples, and make two more. One being, I don't know, pears, and one being bananas. All right. So we're going to use the, uh, the, um, the insert before method to add a new list item before the pairs. So we want this. We want that right there. We want apples, oranges, pears, bananas. But we're going to use the insert before method to achieve this with this three item um, list. So inside the uh, JavaScript here, we first need a reference to the parent element. So this UL is the parent of these three children. So let's make a new constant here called my list equal to the classic document dot get element by ID my list. All right. So now we can uh, we need to actually get a reference to the pairs list item because we want to insert the new list item before another item. So let's make a new constant here. I'm going to call this one pairs item equal to document dot get element by ID and pass in actually sorry we need an actual ID for this one. So give it an ID of something like um, I don't know pairs item simple as that. So get element by ID pairs item. All right so now we can actually log out these two elements to make sure they're actually doing things right. So let's say console.log my list and console.log pairs item. Now if we save this, go in the browser and then refresh, uh, here we obviously have the actual list itself. In the console we have two items here, first being the parent unordered list, secondly being the pairs list item. So we can now create the new list item to insert before the pairs list item. So let's make a new constant here and call this oranges item equal to document dot create elements. We're going to make a list item element. So we'll say li inside there. Now we're going to use the text content property to add some text to this list item. So we'll say oranges item dot text content equals oranges. Perfect. So now we can finally make use of the insert before method. So we're going to say um, my list. So we're going to refer to the parent elements, right? So my list dot insert before this method takes two arguments. The first one being the new item or new node to insert. The second being the node to insert it before. So we'll insert the new oranges item, right? Before the pears item. So now if we save this one, go in the browser, refresh, we get the oranges item inserted right there. Perfect. So now we're going to make use of the insert before method to make the opposite of the append child method. So obviously you know that append child will add a node to the end of a existing parent node, but we want to actually add a node to the beginning of a parent node. We can do this using the insert before method. So let's define a new function up here or down here called, I don't know, add to beginning. This will take two arguments. The first one being the parent element. So we'll say parent or the parent node, should I say? 
and a second being the node to append, sorry, the node to insert at the beginning. So we'll say, I don't know, to insert as the argument or parameter name. So this will be obviously, we'll just say this is going to be opposite, opposite to append child. All right. So we first need to get a reference to the first child because we're going to insert a new element before the first child. So let's make a new constant here called first child equal to parent dot first child. Simple as that. So now we're going to say uh, parent dot insert before. We're going to insert this to insert node, right? And then we're going to insert that before the first child. By the way, when I say node and element, technically, obviously, this is the node.insertBefore method, so you're working with nodes, but most of the time, you're going to actually be using elements, and an element is a type of node. Let's keep that in mind. All right, so now, this function will add an element or node to the beginning of a previous parent node. So, we'll get rid of this right here, this orange is insert before, and we're going to instead simply call add to beginning and pass in the my list um, list element I'm gonna add to the beginning of that list the oranges item so now we save this one go in the browser then refresh we now see oranges at the top of the list and it works perfectly and that is how you can use the node.insert before method within the JavaScript document object model thank you for watching and I'll see you later.